I am excited to see where this is all gonna go. Getting into this game one between Mr. E and Raven King, two of the best shorty players Three, to ever do it. Two, this is this one, is this is sure go. to be a uh, a, a slobber knocker right here. No, for sure, yeah. And uh, I don't know if they're just kinda dancing around. Okay, they're actually playing. So they think they're kinda doing like a weird button check at first because I don't know, sometimes you just can't tell. But yeah, both these guys are gonna open up here. Uh, both put eight percent on each other at the beginning. That's kinda funny. <laughs> yeah, they both put eight point eight percent on each other to start the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Does not matter. Great counter, gonna be able to put Raven King back off stage and a great forward air as well. And that's another counter. Okay, that's Yeah, man. he's gonna keep doing this. Yep. <laughs> this is there it. we go. He's gonna keep going. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Raven King not gonna try the eighth again, recognizing that they are too far away. So I mean, hey, great opening for Mr. E so far. Ooh. Yeah, gonna be able to get back with the dolphin slash that move very quick. Doesn't really get interrupted by it as much. Living King getting caught by hit after hit from Mr. E right now. Not, uh, or sorry, struggling a little bit to just get into this advantage state because every time he does, Mr. E just kind of backs off and resets. He gets like one or two hits and then Mr. E says, okay, I'm done getting hit. Let me go away. <laughs> Even for this neutral B2, Mr. E with the bear out of shield. Not an option you see too often. Raven King going for the down tilt up air, but it's not going to connect. We got another Aether. That's going to blow that stock up. That Aether so strong. But 87% so far. Still going to find a way back to ledge. Okay, good stuff so far. You can absolutely find a way to turn this around as well. But it's just a matter of finding like a way to really put Mr. E in a bad spot over and over again. And this dude is a consistent killer. Like, it's kind of hard to just put them in a bad spot and disadvantage over and over and over. But he can definitely do that wow. to you. <laughs> Great, 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 great oh, oh my god oh, oh my that could be a dead that's a dead raven king that he is. didn't have a jump right there his jump got stolen and that's a that's dominant. a zero to death yeah that's that's oh, crap, mr. E. Oh. <laughs> mr e kind of gross man mr e kind of <laughs> absolutely disgusting yeah, he, he kind of gross <laughs> hey but great stuff great stuff All right, wow, that was a good game one. Uh, we did see Raven King make a bit of a comeback there. Uh, at first, um, unfortunately, uh, it just seems that Mr. E really just <laughs> knows this matchup. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just knows this matchup, but like, as it's soon as like, as soon as that stock was player. taken, he just he just turned it on to a whole nother level, dude. It was insane. He just, as soon as he puts uh, Ike off stage, he just knows when to just go out there, when to just throw out one of those big sweeping hitboxes that Lucina has, you know, that forward air or that back air. That back air is very quick, but that forward air just covers so much. And Ike, as we know, very linear recovery, doesn't have a whole lot of options if you hit him once. And uh, yeah, Mr. E took advantage of that, so great stuff. Three. Two, All right, we're going to the Yoshis. Go! Let's see if Raven King can get some gold here. Getting something started, and you know, we saw it in the Sinji set. It seems like uh, uh, this this stage is just kind of Raven King's comfort zone. He, he's already off to a much better start than he was, but maybe not. Mr. E just <laughs> making this look impossible right now. Yeah, dude, he's definitely got the, the flow of the game down right now. Okay, Raven King kind of finding a little bit something there. Get the sword clangs. All right. All right, maybe maybe it's not uh, definitely within Mr. E's uh, favor at the moment because, man, Raven King finding some great openings there. All right. See what we, can do. we saw him actually take Sydney POC earlier about a couple sets ago on stream, and it, it, it really worked out for him. Ooh. Hitting back air right there, and it's going to be a struggle to get back to stage. A uh, great quick draw, and that's going to be the first stock. Beautiful down tilt to the board air. Raven King takes the first stock here. See if they can keep this up. That's a good 21%. Far. 
But again, 124%, you would think that Mr. E is gonna find an option to close the stock out, but no, Raven King's gonna get another Aether. He's piling on this damage, that's a big opening too. Forward air. Oh no! He's fucking it. awful. <laughs> Unfortunate. Still alive though. Ah, but the counter is going to take care of it. And Mr. E is going to find a way to take that stock out. Great counter. And like 140, yeah, that's pretty much going to kill like any stage in that type of scenario. And let's see where things fall into place here. Ooh, that could have been bad news for Raven King. Got to be lucky uh, to just not get uh, hit by that shield. Very important. Ooh, okay, not gonna quite get hit by that back air. The back air there is going to connect. Wow, great shot from Raven King. Yeah, I mean, no, that was actually very fantastic. 85% now. Oh, Raven King almost got to a bad spot there. Mr. E was definitely looking to good out there and apply that pressure that we saw in that game one on stage. And um, he is not gonna be able to get that. And now he's taking a lot of extra credit here. 51% uh, so far. Big punish on that, maybe. Oh, wow, okay. Getting back to stage. No, that counter has been the bane of Raven King's existence this entire set. And you can very clearly see why. It's just every time Raven King wants to get back to stage, it says no. But he needs one more good startup right here at ledge, oh, and this wow. could be it. Yeah. Raven King looking a little resistant to go off stage against Mr. E, though, and I, for, for very good reason, honestly. <laughs> this up air to close it out raven king almost in prime position but mr e saying no thanks i'm still in this oh oh my goodness the uh the shield breaker almost came out and ruined raven king's life right there but the nair up air is going to guarantee us having a game three yeah no uh great stuff from raven king finding a way to dig deep and take that game uh, looking pretty good going into this game three here. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, we saw that counter pick to Yoshi's when he was taking on Sinji and he took the game there. Now it's a matter of keeping that game, uh, or this tempo at least, uh, going into game three. We saw him flub it in the set against Sinji and you don't have any more chances. This is do or die for both players here. Final game, uh, the loser out of the tournament to, and the winner moves on to tomorrow and kind of like, the, I guess it's like a bracket reset almost because all the losers, you know, get another chance and all that stuff. So yeah, we're going to see, uh, we're going to see how this works out. Yeah, it's definitely going to be very, very interesting to see how this goes here. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. Ready? Yep, I'm also very excited, but let's see where we're going to be going. Say, probably Smash? Three, nope, two, Small Battlefield, similar one, enough. Go. I was close. All right, here we go. Small Battlefield, let's see who can get the opening stock here. I feel like whoever's gotten that first stock has kind of really made a big dent the rest of the game. I mean, I, kind of, I think that kind of goes without saying half the time, whoever gets that first stock generally probably has a good bit of momentum in their favor but um it seems to really be the case here i feel like it's a very very big factor and it's not just that but just like an extra credit as well uh so uh, it's, it's gonna be interesting to see who can get that early opening beautiful stuff from raven king getting a couple nares to that back air uh putting on 72 percent yeah raven king looking very strong with mr evil firing back in kind right now looking good for both of them at the moment Wow, Mr. E is just did a good job. He's continuously putting Raven King like off stage again and again. And even though Raven King got back a couple times, like, he just found himself back off stage time and time again for Mr. E to take that first stock. Now, 81%, Ike has the kill power to close this out. But 32% extra credit so far for Mr. E. Uh, Raven King's gotta close this out quickly. He doesn't want to be taking any more hits. But man, Mr. E is keep finding ways to make this difficult. Oh, not gonna get a punish on that. Yeah, Raven King needs to close out this stock now and he's gonna find himself out of this event, honestly. Um, this this right here is going to be what determines who takes this game because right now if Mr. E gets any more extra credit than he already has, it's it's going to be disastrous for Raven King. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, Raven King and, and Ike in general can work well 
with Rage. Like, that's not a problem for him, but the problem is, is how consistent Mr. E is finding these hits. He's not going for hard combos, but he's finding a lot of straight hits that continue to build up time and time again. It's just, it's not allowing Rage to kind of get that pressure or any sort of combo game built up. Mr. E taking a second stock. This might be all over for Raven King, man. I don't want to count uh, my boy out here, but yeah, this is, this is looking tough. Yeah, right now, uh, oh, the up here right here finally going to take the stock. No, oh my goodness. I cannot believe that Mr. E is still alive, but this is looking very, 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 very bad for Raven King at the moment. It is, I mean, 129, still in that third stock, and you just see the way he's been playing, uh, consistent in his pressure, and just being persistent and just finding it as well. It is definitely a tough spot to be in. Still, okay, gonna be able to take that stock. I thought he was gonna live there for a second. I was about to say, but now we've got an offstage Raven King. Mr. E's been doing a great job just applying that pressure, still just finding a way to get him back up the stage here once again. Nope, all right. Good opening. Oh, this is definitely option coming down. Not necessarily to the wire, but to the wire for Raven King. Yeah, this is this is a, a bad position to be in. Very honestly, like in that dolphin slash, one more of those at oh. with the F smash. Ooh, not going at... to take it. I can't believe he's still alive. Oh, oh, the the smash. Read. Yeah, that's a beautiful read right Ooh. there. That was a fantastic spin up. Why did he went hero? to the ledge, recognized that the quick draw was going to come out a lot sooner than that with a beautiful up smash, well placed to take that game three from Raven King. Going to end Raven King's tournament life there. Mr. E moves on to day two. Great stuff.